section we're going to look at now is the occlusion section. This section is unique to the dental hygiene version of the tooth atlas in version 6.0 and it covers the occlusion and this is not included in the dental student version of this. So let's go ahead and look at the menu bar. We'll click on the occlusion and look at this section. We can look at the arches in three different ways. We have the arches in occlusion. We'll click on that section and you come up with, in this case, a class one occlusion. We'll twirl this around and you can see how in a class one occlusion what the cuspid relationships are, the first molar relationships. One thing that's unique about this is you can actually take this and look at these teeth and make them transparent so you can see down through, the, through them and see where the contact points are. There are descriptors on all of this. Let's make this back to uh, gives you an idea of what the different structures are. And again, if we want to do a show all, you can see all the structures that are involved here. We'll hide these now. This is the class two occlusion. We'll click on this model. We'll load the model. Shows you the molar relationship and the cuspid relationship of a class two occlusion. Class three occlusion. Click on this. And again, you see the cuspid relationship and the molar and anterior relationship of a classic class three occlusion. The next section we're going to look at is the points of occlusion, contact, and you can go in and mark specific points and see where they fall on the opposite arch. These are all the points that are defined and that gives you the ability to understand the contact points between the two arches. So that is the occlusion section of Tooth Atlas Dental Hygiene version 6.0. This section is not included in the dental student version of the Tooth Atlas but only exists in the hygiene version.